A slashing suspect runs from the scene of an attack in Brooklyn, leaving a woman wounded on the street. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. That victim knows she could have been killed. But tonight, she is out of the hospital and speaking to CBS 2's Scott Rappaport. The bandage on Janina Popko's neck conceals a brutal wound, a 13-stitch gash across her throat, slashed with a knife in Ditmas Park Thursday by an attacker she never saw coming. Horrible, horrible. But ask her about it, and you will also hear this. I am very lucky and very grateful. Lucky and grateful, she says, to be alive. Police say her alleged attacker, seen here on surveillance video moments after the carnage, came up behind Popko without warning here on the corner of Beverly and Rugby Road, cut her across the throat and ran away, leaving behind this knife and what appears to be an American flag bandana, an all-out ambush. What did he say to you? Nothing. Breathing and slush. Came from behind you? Yes. Did you recognize him in any way? No, no, never saw it. The victim says she was on her cell phone at the time of the attack and that it left her vulnerable. Better be aware, don't stay on their cell phone like you're walking. That's what I was doing. You were I was on your cell phone? Yeah, I was looking at my text messages. Back at the scene Friday, a large police presence and a plethora of posters showing the suspect and offering a reward for information in the case. Yet another slashing in the city. So far, there has been no arrest. It has the 53 year old victim and her husband terribly concerned. If somebody just attacked you from behind, you know, how do you de defend yourself? A troubling question that is becoming all too familiar. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. The outcome of the attack could have been much worse for the victim. She tells us that she was lucky her wound wasn't too deep.